got a new mod in the building. And this one we have in the building, man, by, by Velosa Tech, man. We got another big Ram Air scoop, or they call it like a big mouth Ram Air by Velosa Tech. And this one's a little bit different, man. I don't know, can y'all tell? Well, right now it looks white, but I'm gonna let this charge in the sun. And this got a neon, this got a neon glow to it, man. So, you know, this is gonna make this car stand out a little bit more. They probably gonna be wondering what's in the bumper. And as of now, it's gonna go here. And right now, it's just like this plastic fender there. I don't know if you can see that. That's in the way. I'm about to take that out. And I did this before on my last Camaro. Um, when I did this. But it's completely different. Like the last one I had, I feel like that's a lot bigger. This one is a lot smaller, maybe because the front, how GM just like redesigned the front end. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. The same procedure, it's the same that I did on my 16 through 18 Camaro. And I'm about to charge this boy out, lay this out in the sun while I'm working on it, uh, while I'm taking the parts off. So we're gonna see how well it glows at night. Take this, I'm gonna go for the radiator. Uh, area so to take this part out this piece out you're gonna need two t30s here and you're gonna need t15s for all of these here and then after that a 10 millimeter uh bolt here so you can get that off with a 10 and then after that um that's pretty much it that give me the access to get in there i can remove the stock piece that's in there that's blocking it you have, and this part do require you to remove the SS badge. I forgot to tell you guys that, so I kind of like it without the SS badge there, but that's just something to let you guys know there. So we about to go ahead and remove this piece, man, and we about to install it. Cause I hope to see, I hope this lights up bright at night. I never had a neon part. I feel like this is the only rice of mine that I got on the car, but it don't matter. We gonna go ahead and get to this. So I took the last latch out for the hood release. So now I can lift this up here and start taking it out. So now I'm about to do that for you guys. Okay, so here's the piece that that we need to remove right here. As you can see, it's like bolted on by these nasty clamps here. So it's one here we need to remove. It's one down there that need to be removed. And it's one right there that needs to be removed if y'all can see that or not. So we about to get these nice little tree clamps out the way and then we should be all set. Compared to the my 2016 to 18, it looks like it's a little bit tight in here, but we can get it done though. Man, here it go. I tore this part off because I thought I had the bottom, but I missed that clamp. But it's right here. It don't matter. We're not gonna need that anymore. And as you can see, she can breathe. So now. It's getting a little bit dark because it took a minute. But as y'all see, like, it got a nice, it got a glow to it. It's not fully there yet, but it's not white either. So this going to look nice sitting back here in a minute. So we about to put this in and it'll go in at this angle like this. But ooh, y'all can see it now once it's in there a little bit. See, it's out. It was white. Ooh, I'm geeked. Once it's in there, it's going to glow. So, yeah, we about to get this in here and, yeah, put it on this brace here. So, once I get that in there, I'll let you know. Okay, it's just before dark. And your boy got it in there. It's not dark yet. We still got a little bit of sun in the sky, but you at least can see it, though. It just poked up in there a little bit. It's lined up all right there man so it's getting all that air so let's step back from the far can y'all see it a little bit it's tucked up in there but when you zoom in it's right there playing peekaboo That looks 
crazy. Okay, guys, so it's the next day. Um, it got dark, so I couldn't show you guys everything that I wanted. Um, I tried to go out for a drive, but it looks like it would have to be pitch dark out without any lights going for you guys to see that. So that's the best I can do is show you guys from my garage. But anyways, this Velocitech setup is made to um, have colder inlet air temperatures going from the front of the car into the roto fab intake or whatever intake you have, whether you have a stock or whatever. It's a cheap mod. It's supposed to help the car breathe a little bit better. Um, as you can see there, just a plastic piece and the SS grill blocking that. So now the car getting more air. Um, but Velocitech did do their research and they do have like um, statistics and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, I'll drop that link in the description. But like that, man, that's going to wrap this video. Hopefully you guys know how to install um, your Velocitech in your 19 through 23 Camaro. And if you guys have a 16 through 18, I had a video popping up here. Me installing it from the 16th to the 18th Camaro model year. So if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.